Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to serialize and deserialize the data from your Flutter application into the JSON format. You will need this to call APIs in the cloud, for example, to store or retrieve data from cloud services or APIs, uh, as well as call services in the cloud or even to store data locally on your drive. Let's jump right into it. Let's start with a quick look at what JSON or JavaScript object notation looks like and what it is. It's basically a structure that gives every data type a label. Uh, in this case, we see here first name would be the label for John, a string. Age would be a label for 27, an integer. But you can also use complex data types like here for address or lists as in children here where we have an empty list. Let's have a look how the same scenario could look like in a Flutter application in a Dart class. So here in the class JSON example at the bottom, you have a string for first name, string for last name, integer. You have a complex data type and you have a list, or in this case, a map of children, which is empty. So the complex data type, the address is detailed out further here at the top. The objective is then to uh, create these Flutter classes from the JSON or create the JSON from the Flutter classes. That way you can serialize, deserialize, send it to a different server and nothing gets lost. The way Flutter or Dart support you in doing that is it creates an, a generic layer in between because the structure of JSON to some extent is always the same with this label and something which is in, um, in Dart represented as dynamic. So you have a list of string comma dynamic uh, a hash map in the implementation that is generic. And you only have to implement the part that is specific for your classes. So a quick reminder on uh, the properties of JSON and how this generic inter interim layer fits in here. You always have this name and something or string dynamic. You have a list. Uh, the order of that list in JSON uh, is not relevant in a hash map that might get lost. You can have complex data types, which is also part of dynamic or something. Uh, in JSON, elements can appear multiple times. In a hash map, it cannot. If you add a, the same element at the second time, it will overwrite the first one. The order of the elements is not relevant and white space is ignored. So that will be passed away or removed when you transform it between these. So the uh, module dart convert gives you these two functions, JSON decode, JSON encode, which uh, passes a JSON raw format into the format of map string dynamic and vice versa. So you can use Dart Convert for the raw JSON handling and you only program with your classes against the format of map string dynamic. And to serialize your classes to JSON or uh, get them from JSON, you need to implement for each class the functions to JSON and from JSON to create or, or serialize your class to, uh, to JSON. These classes can look something like that. To JSON is a bit more straightforward. You just take all the data in your class and serialize them out uh, into the JSON format. From JSON is a bit less straightforward. It uses a factory pattern and creates a specific constructor for each class to create an instance of that class from JSON. Let's have a look at the code in VS Code, and I will walk you through this example in detail, step by step, to see how to implement that in detail. So here we have the class JSON example uh, with exactly what we just looked at on the slides. First name, last name, age, we have the complex data type and all that. Uh, empty list, and this address is in the same file here as string, 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 string. And that's just the structure of the data that we need in Flutter to manage the data. Next, I have a small main program that uses these functions step by step. So I start with uh, creating a string that uh, is initialized with a JSON format, exactly the JSON we just looked at. 
Please note that there is a little bit of white space contained here and we will see how that will be removed step by step along the way. So I print that out here in a first statement. The next is I use the function JSON decode. I hand over exactly the string and I get returned a map string dynamic. Then I use the JSON encode function with exactly the result of that one and get a string back. And then I print that out and we will see and we can compare how these strings transform. So what it does, it decodes the string to the generic layer and back to the raw JSON format and then we can compare. So as you can see, the input from string, that's the first one, what we put in. And after generic map and back, you see here, same format, same data. The only difference is the white space got removed along the way. So let's continue. The next is, uh, we, we do that again. And we see the second string is exactly printed twice and the two means uh, the string is completely identical. So with this, we have done the transformation, just the generic part, only all the way to map string dynamic and back. And this is based on the dart convert library. And that works without a problem. Now in part two, we do the same. We start again here, uh, getting the input from the same input string and do the transformation to the J map as same as a map. Now I do something else. I call the from JSON on the JSON example. Now I had commented that one out. So I need to bring that back in. So here we have the from JSON on the JSON example. It takes the map string dynamic and returns the JSON example function. In this, it also needs to uh, call the from JSON of address, which is up here. And same pattern. And this will create the, um, the class from JSON. On the way back, to use that class now. Um, so on the way back, we use the result of JSX and create the map string dynamic out of this JSX that we retrieved here from that. So basically we walk the way back and create a string again with JSON encode and print it out again to confirm that it is identical. So we see here in part one again, and then part two starts input from the string. After complete conversion and back, we see the same data again. So that's it. That's all there is to the handling of JSON in Flutter. One last thing to note is the creation of lists can be a bit more troublesome here. So that's this part here, creating the list from JSON uh, for each of the children, I create an element. And um, typically I would create that element with a specific type, which in this empty list was not necessary, but technically you would have your specific data type that you add here as a specific code. So to summarize, create a to JSON and a from JSON function for each of your classes, code against the map string dynamic interface, and use the dart convert package to handle the raw JSON. In my next video, I will show you how to retrieve data from the internet and transform it into your Flutter application to use it there dynamically, as well as how to uh, interact with cloud services using these JSON functions. Please follow and subscribe to see these videos.